Alrighty, what you're looking at here is the Viomi V3 Max Robot Vacuum Cleaner. And it's also a Mopping Master 2.0. So this robot vacuum has laser radar, real-time sweeping map, 2,700 PA suction, a 5,200 milliamp hour battery, and you can schedule your cleaning times. It remembers how to vacuum in all your rooms, and it'll vacuum like a lawnmower where you don't come across your other line. They just keep getting better and better. So as always, let's unbox it real quick. Woo. Here's a quick start guide, how to get it running, and there's an app that we will have to download. A fatty manual here. There's a brush right on top, so make sure you don't lose that. Okay, so looking at the top cam here, we got quite a few little things that come inside the box. And what we can see here is a bunch of little cleaning cloths. And then we have a little mop. These lines in here are like some kind of plastic, so it uses to scrub, and then you got soft microfiber to pick up. And it'll be sticking onto something like this, so you can see that it Velcros right on. There's a little scroll wheel. You also will get a little cleaning brush here so you can clean the little section that's a pretty tough bristles this is the x run that came with it but you'll be able to replace the one that is on already here's the power supply which we'll be plugging into the back of this there's some sensors behind this little plexiglass that will detect where your robo vacuum is and guide it to charge by itself and obviously this has a lot of protection on top for shipping and handling and this is how the robot ends up detecting things in front of it the laser radar is right behind here and let's see if i can get inside of there yeah i think you can still see it there's little sensors in there that will light up and detect how to navigate your room so it knows not to pass through the same spots where it can and cannot fit home and power buttons so you can tell it where to go without having to use your phone or anything you can just turn it on and off and tell it to go home to charge and the wheels here are sticky rubber so it's going to keep itself planted not having to slip around and the wheels back here also have sensors so it'll detect if it wants to fall off we also have the suction here where we slurp up all the debris with bristles to sweep it up and some rubber on it so that it picks up even better. And you can see that we could also take this out to clean it once it's really messy. There's four sensors in the front, two here and two on the bottom. And then we got the little ball that, you know, just rolls the direction that these back wheels are gonna go. And of course the little charging conducting area and not to mention the spinning sweeper that will sweep everything inside to scoop up in there. But there's some ventilation there. We're going to hear what it sounds like when we're going to turn it on here in just a bit. All we got to do is grab one of these ends there and pull it up. And we have this little bar here that we pull up and we get the tank out. Here's the little filter. As you can see, you can pull that, get this out, more dumping cleaning not only does all the dust and dirt go inside this little tank this also doubles as a separate tank in there for your water so you can see you pop this open you put your wop whatever <laughs> you put your water for your mop close it up and it also tells you some care and maintenance of how to use it there's some notes there so you can read and in here it's pretty plain other than this little tube here that's going to suck that water out so it can drip it while it's mopping which is this little area here just like that and then close it and you're good to go and of course this has wi-fi so you can control it with the phone with an app and let's press power turning on whoa that's loud so it doesn't do anything when you press the button just yet but let me press it again clean up all is starting oh there we go so right now it's analyzing where it can go and it's gonna bump into things and it should not be falling off. That's actually really quiet. And there you go, so see, it won't fall off the desk. You can see there, it detects that it could fall off, so it has fall protection. Thanks for dropping my mouse. So yeah, I'm not doing anything. It knows not to fall off, like I said. If this was by a ledge or someone that it could fall, it's not gonna fall Cleanup off the desk. Cleanup has ended. Returning to the dock to charge. On the bottom of the charging base here, there's little rubber grip so when you have it on the floor it's not going to slip around when it bumps up into it but there is a 
little section there where we're going to plug in the cable and we can coil the cable if it's too long so it's not just hanging out and we can pull the cable out from one of the sides whichever one you prefer let's just go to this back side here that this will connect to this little spot right back here and that is the mopping section so once it starts dripping the water it's gonna get wet vacuuming and mopping at the same time which is a convenient if you have hardwood floors and to take this off it does slide out of this little sleeve so it doesn't fall off accidental it has a little section here that you slide it in just go right into there pull it through and there is a stop for it and then cover that and then you got a softer material for a different type of floor the only thing i really got to do is go find a spot for the charger let it run okay so obviously we have four steps here we're going to set up the charging dock Number two, install the water tank and mop module. Step number three, download and install the My Home app. Let's launch the camera. Then it pops up. There is the app, press get. And yes, we wanna make an account. Give it permission to locate the device. Let's make it work with your home kit, Google Home, Siri, Alexa, and now we're on to adding the device. Let's hit the power. Turning on. Okay, we're gonna place the phone as close to the target device as possible. If you can't find it, just scroll until you see the robot vacuum. And we have the V3 Max together for three seconds. One, two, three. Wi-Fi connection has been reset. So now we're gonna look for the vacuum. And it is done now. Okay, so this little graph that we're looking at here is where it scanned when it was at my desk at the office. And we can see the battery percentage is up on the right. We can go to the mode here. We can see the vacuum, vacuum and mop. Turn vacuum mopping or just mopping only. So you can turn different modes there. And then suction. So there's gonna be a quiet mode, standard, medium, and a really strong mode. Uh, standard would probably be best for a new house here. And then water volume, how much do we want it to drip? Pressing the charge back button down here by the start will send the vacuum to go charge. Then the map management will be where you could edit the areas, manage rooms. So if you are gonna bring this upstairs or make it go to other rooms, you can create borders or let you know when it's cleaning a certain room. So when we press start, it's going to map all the walls where it can go in and out and then start cleaning and mopping. So this whole thing will change. So these robot vacuums are extremely useful for people who have pets because you know their toys, their food going in and out, especially their fur gets everywhere. And instead of you having to sweep around, kicking up dust, or you running the vacuum yourself, this thing will just clean up right behind them. Schedule it, don't have to think about it. You can be at work, out playing, sleeping, doing homework, whatever it is, you just tell it to vacuum at a certain time or you command it to go whenever you want so it can clean for you and you can continue doing whatever you want it to do without having to worry about cleaning after everybody and your pet. It's convenient, that's why these things are really popular. So, so far we can see where it has mapped and it still hasn't done the whole bottom floor, but the purple is where exactly it's been traveling and that's gonna be the full cleaning and mopping what it's going through right now, perfectly going and that zigzag so it doesn't miss any spots and here we can see that the map is getting much bigger and let's see if I can show you here that it is wet yeah I can't but you can see a little, you can see some there it's yeah you can see that it's mopping it's it's wet so it's definitely cleaning watch it fit right under there and the little swing scoop that's pretty nice I think I proved that it does its really good job looking for the corners. Vacuuming and mopping has ended. Returning to the dock to charge. It's just gonna go right into his charging. As you can see the radar in the front is just aligning itself to positioning itself perfectly onto it. You can see that. Very slowly steering. And I actually got notifications 
that started charging. Please remove the mop. So that it doesn't leak. Two and one dust compartment with water tank has been removed. Do not rinse it or immerse it in water. <laughs> so let's just take out the water. And then to clean all the dust out, we want to select that and get it out. Look at that. That was already cleaned floor. And I got this out of all the corners. Fuzz and hair from animals and dirt. And there's still some more dust in there. But I say if we're having it on level one, and they picked up this that the other vacuum couldn't, that's actually really impressive and good, right? And then obviously here we got the, the mop. It's actually pretty damp. It got some of the dirt and we can take it off and wash it, throw it away, slide it out. So yeah, there you guys have it. If you want one for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it all in the description down below. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Later.